Hey everyone, it's Nico, and I wanted to share with you a game that I've been playing a ton of lately. Like the last two weeks, I've been playing a lot of this, and typically I don't cover a lot of multiplayer games since I do focus so much on indie games, and a lot of indie games don't have an online component, but this one does. And this is Crossy Road Castle, which is a four-player arcade style platformer that is so simple but just so well designed and just an absolute blast to play whether you play it single player two player three player or four player co-op i tried all the different variations of the ways to play this and had a ton of fun with it now this is available currently on consoles so nintendo switch playstation 5 and Xbox Series consoles, and even Xbox One. So you have a lot of options to play this. And not just that though, it's actually cross-play. So if you have a buddy that's on a different platform, no worries, you guys can play together. So the main controls for this are real simple. You move and you jump. There's a lot of different things that you'll interact with, which will have mobility that's added kind of to that level that you're on. But for the most part, that's all you're going to do. You're going to have a run and a jump. That's all you worry about. You can Goomba stomp some enemies and others you can't. You'll collect coins. There's also purple tokens. And the gold coins and the purple tokens are tied to the unlocks. There's a plethora of cosmetics you can earn in this. There's tons of different animals and skins you can earn. And then there's also different headwear and hats that you can acquire and there's a lot a lot of levels in this game because there's a ton of different towers each environment plays differently than all of the others they all have unique boss fights and typically you're gonna fight a boss every 30 floors or so so each time you fight the boss even though if say you're playing through the first tower you'll fight the same boss each time it will get harder and harder so it adds a great level of challenge it always tends to start out simple enough so i think this game is really easy to pick up and play so if you have some buddies coming over this would be like a wonderful party game to play since you can play local and if you have buddies that are far away my friend that i played this with he lives in canada really far away and i'm all the way on the east coast so the game ran great. We didn't have too many issues with latency. There was a few times where we had like a disconnect. I don't know if just the servers were being wonky or one of our internet connections, but it didn't happen often. It usually runs really smooth and we both played this on the Switch. So the version you're looking at here, this is gameplay from the Switch version. And it's crazy to me how well designed all the levels are. Now, the tower runs are procedurally generated. I don't think that the floors are, each level is. But each time you do play the towers, the layout will be different. The levels will be in different orders. So it always felt different each time we played it. Some of the levels, like we understood how to solve them and how to get through them, especially the harder ones when we came back and replayed them. So you will learn the best way to tackle some of these, but each time you play through a tower, like it feels completely different because the levels are always jumbled. They're in different orders and some of them have secrets. So there might be a secret exit, which is usually a green door. And then there's like an emerald in there and each tower has five of these if you collect them all you get a secret character there's also challenges which are basically events this game came out in september it is now the end of october i do believe they had an event that was among us themed i have seen some online players using like an among us skin and i don't have this because i missed out on that event but currently right now at the time of recording this it's right before halloween there is a Halloween event, and it's really fun because the gameplay is different. It's only 20 floors, I think, instead of the full, like, go until you uh, die, essentially, because um, it's got leaderboards, and you can try and complete these 20 floors as fast as possible. There's three challenges that you complete in this event, and you'll unlock special things. There was a hat, which is like a jack-o'-lantern hat. And then there was a Frankenstein skin. 
and i'm sure these events will repeat at least every year especially the holiday ones but it's a really cool way and a really great incentive to play this even more and come back to it if maybe you played the crap out of it and you got a little sick of it and then you come back and there's a cool event and you get some exclusive rewards for your time so i really like that about it my only complaint with the game truly is that there's a lot of screen shake in this like a ton of screen shake and you can't turn it off and i'm not really sure why they don't have the option to turn it off they do have an option to turn it down which is how i played and how you are seeing the screen shake in all of the footage because i turned it down immediately that's an option i always check for I had no idea that this had screen shake in it, but I turned it down regardless because I always do. I usually turn it off, but you can't do that here. I hope they do add in the option because there are times where it kind of is almost like disorienting me a little bit. I'm a bit of an older gamer, so if it sounds like I'm being a wuss, like I promise you I'm not. When you get older, you'll understand. But screen shake kind of really rattles me a bit when it's excessive in it's pretty excessive here so sometimes i have to kind of like pause for a minute and like get my bearings and then continue on but there are levels where i can't do this because maybe something's crumbling or i'm timed there's a hazard chasing me like a spike wall or something so it's a bit of a bummer that you can't turn off the screen shake but for the most part it's just a minor annoyance more than a deal breaker the boss fights and stuff in this are so different from one another and it's weird that a game so simple has like so much charm to it there were so many times where my friend and i were playing and like something funny happened maybe we died in a goofy way or we you know clutched up a room that was pretty difficult there's just a lot of charm to this game that looking at it you might think oh it kind of just looks like a voxel art style and it's kind of Minecraft-ish. I don't see what the appeal is. Like, you just move and jump. How fun can it be? And you might think that, but I promise until you play it, you won't necessarily understand just how fun it is. Like, I've been addicted to this game. I have been trying to play as much as I can with my friend and then earn everything that there is. I want all the hats. I want all the skins. There's also stickers for each tower which are essentially achievements and maybe on playstation and xbox maybe those actually are the achievements but on switch like they're there and it's just like something for you to do it's all tracked really well in the menus seeking out the secrets is really enjoyable and man this is just such a fun game and i was pretty excited to make this video on it I understand that Crossy Road is not like this hidden gem or anything like that because the original game was very popular on mobile and that's probably why the roots of this are so simplistic. But I'm not a big mobile gamer, so until a mobile game like comes to a console, that's probably going to be the only way that I'm going to play it. Another thing I want to mention too is just because this game has online and it has events, you can absolutely play this offline. So say you pick this up on the Switch and you're traveling and you don't have an internet connection and you're like, oh, well, can I play this single player offline? Yeah, you absolutely can. The only thing you can't do without an internet connection is obviously you can't play online, but you also can't partake in the challenge events since there are leaderboards and things tied to those and they're timed. But anything else, you can play 100% offline. Local multiplayer, single player, you can play all of it. So this was the console version of Crossy Road Castle. And if you have any questions on this game, I've played quite a bit of it. Feel free to ask in the comments. I don't really know what else to say about it other than I enjoy this game a lot. I understand the price is a little steep at $20, but... You know, if that's a little too high for you, just kind of put this one on your wish list and keep it in mind. Because I think this game's an absolute blast and would make for a great party game. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you on the next one.